Will the house prices rise or fall this year? Buying or selling a home can feel like an endless merry-go-round for anyone caught up in a torturous house move. The dominant feature of the market in the last 12 months have been caution. Many potential sellers decided to stay put amid political and economic uncertainty, amid the Brexit debate and general election. While this put off sellers, demand among potential buyers remained relatively stable. Low interest rates meant mortgages were relatively cheap for anyone finding a home within their budget. First time buyer numbers were also surprisingly healthy. Debt, divorce, schools and new jobs still prompted people to move. That led to prices rising on average across the country, if only by a little rather than wholesale property price drops. So what will happen in 2020? The result of general election has brought a level of political certainty and a clear route, in the short term at least, for the Brexit process. Many experts suggest this could play out in the housing market with the release of some pent-up demand among buyers and sellers. People who put off making one of the biggest financial decisions of their lives may now feel more confident in making that step. While that may inject some activity in the housing market in the first few months of the year, most experts do not expect it to last. Before long, they say, the uncertainty and debate over the UK's future relationship with the EU could mean more caution in the sector. As a result, likes of Zoopla and Rightmove are predicting the house prices will rise by 2% from the start to the end of 2020. More affordable cities likes of Leicester might experience rise up to 4% in 2020 and 16% cumulatively over the next five years. So if you're looking to buy or sell, I would love to hear your thoughts. You can contact me directly on the following details. Thank you.